Hey, how you doing? My name is Mike, and this is an FBTV video. The topic for today's video, what came first, the truck or the broker? Hey, how you doing? Hardly a week goes by that I don't get a call from someone that has a business plan, and their business plan includes starting a trucking company as well as a brokerage. That's a good idea. That's a good plan. But you got to do it correctly. I always get asked, what should I do first? Should I go out here and buy the equipment, get my authority, start my trucking company first, or start my brokerage? My recommendation is always start your brokerage first if you haven't bought any equipment. I'll explain why here in just a second. I want to remind you, if you are thinking about becoming a freight broker, freight broker agent, I invite you to check out Taltoa, T-A-L-T-O-A dot com. We are a training and consulting firm. Matter of fact, I'm the lead consultant at Taltoa. We have all types of packages for people wanting to start out in the industry as a freight broker agent. Uh, we have freight broker consulting packages and much more. Feel free to check them out, Taltoa dot com, T-A-L-T-O-A dot com. Or call me, 479-668-0838. Now, let's talk about uh, the truck or the brokerage. Why I recommend starting a brokerage first. If you go out here and buy a truck, let's say you're going to do a flatbed operation. You buy a truck, you got a trailer, uh, you bought everything you need for that uh, flatbed operation. You got your authority in place, the whole nine yards are ready to go. But you have no customers. Well, you're, you're thinking, well, I don't need customers. I can use a broker. Not a, not a good plan right there. Uh, I know that that's how a lot of people get started. That's what they do. They go out here and they decide I'm going to use a broker. And they got in the back of their head, while I'm using a broker, I'm going to be seeking out my own customers. But next thing you know, it's 18 months down the road and you're using a broker for all of your loads. You've never found the time to get your own customers. By doing that, you're costing yourself anywhere from three to $600 per week per truck. Okay, simple as that. Now, what I mean by costing, understand that the broker is paying you what they pay you, but the, their customer is paying you, or is paying that broker more. Who knows how much more, 10, 15, 20, 25%. If you had your own customers, you could be dealing direct with that customer and getting 100% of the rate. That's why I recommend starting the brokerage first. If you start your brokerage first, and you have an idea, your plan's already put together that you're gonna start a flatbed operation, then you can begin your brokerage and start seeking out flatbed customers. In other words, customers that have flatbed freight, lumber, steel, roofing, PVC pipe, steel coils, aluminum pipe, see what I mean? It, it, this freight is gonna be available to you. And generally there's gonna be a flatbed shipper within 100 miles of your base of operation. That's gonna make deadhead a lot easier. More times than not, it's gonna be a lot closer. Right here in Fort Smith, Arkansas, I bet within 50 miles, there is half a dozen plus potential customers that I would contact for flatbed freight, just off the top of my head. Now, what that's going to do for you as you know, starting the brokerage first, you're going to be able to start developing those accounts, developing those relationships with those customers, and you're going to be able to start brokering that freight. So you're, you're in essence, going to be able to make money uh, through the brokerage. When you get, when you've, when when you have set up enough uh, customers that would sustain your trucking operation, depending on how many how many trucks you have, two, three, four customers probably be enough. You know, to begin, now when you get your equipment, you got your authority, you can go to those customers and say, hey, we're a full service. We've got our assets. We, we've got equipment, our own equipment. So not only can we broker your freight, but we have our own trucks. We can haul your freight on our equipment as well. You've already got the relationship set up. Understand if you're a small trucking company, it's going to be tough to go into any customer and try to do a sit down negotiable contract. You're going to be working off transactional contracts to begin. And that's a great way to begin because you're going to be getting 100% of the rate. Your, your trucking company is setting up their own customers that you're dealing with direct. Now, when the truck is out on the road, maybe one of those customers calls and says, hey, I got a load going from point A to point B. Now, your truck's not available, 
but at least you don't have to say no now. If you didn't have your own brokerage operation, you would have to tell that customer, no, you know, we can't help you. But you've got your own broker operation, so now you can still make money off that load, broker it to another trucking company. Once you say no to a load, that load's that, that money for that load's going to be gone. There's no getting it back. This is going to give you the opportunity to still make money. All right, uh, remember Saturday mornings, 9 a.m., most Saturdays anyway, FBTV video podcast live stream right here on YouTube. We start at 9 a.m. Saturday morning. Uh, click down uh, below, click the subscribe button, uh, ring the bell, be notified when we are doing these live broadcasts or whenever we post a video. We're posting videos pretty much every day uh, with a live broadcast on Saturdays, Sundays. Uh, generally nothing give you a chance to get caught up on the other videos we posted that week. Also, what I remind you too, the new FBTV podcast mug is now available. Uh, you can uh, see it right there, kind of a representation of it. You can order that from our website, FreightBrokerTV.com. All right. Also, while you're at the website checking out the uh, mug, if you've got any questions, be sure to submit your questions to us. You can do that from the website. We have a contact page uh, where you can fill out the form. On Saturdays during the live stream, it's Q&A day. So if you have any questions, you can submit them. We'll answer them on Saturday mornings. You can fill out the forms on our website at FreightBrokerTV.com. Check out the mugs. Uh, also, you can uh, email me direct, FBTV at FreightBrokerTV.com, or you can Skype us at FBTV. Just do a search on your Skype app for FBTV, FreightBrokerTV. All right, go have a great day unless you've made other plans. We'll talk soon.